together. Jamal, you have played for Doc Rivers. Um, first, your take on making this decision now and the possible changes that we've heard. I don't like it, to be honest with you. It, just the fact that he, he, he interviewed for 14 different coaching jobs. He gets one. They have a better record than they did this year, this point last year. And let's be honest, the Bucks aren't going to be judged on the regular season anyway. This is a team they're trying to go to the finals. They're going to be judged on their postseason success. He didn't get a chance at that. And for me, that's disheartening because he took so long to get this opportunity. <clears throat> he gets it. He does well with it. They're not – they have the third best record in the league, period. And for him to get fired, I don't like that part of it. Candace, I think the only thing that was confusing to me was – when Chris reported that they hired him not thinking that they had championship aspirations. When you have Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is top three in the league, how do you not have yeah. championship aspirations? And so I think that Adrian was hired at a disadvantage. We're not in the locker room on a day-to-day. -day. The buy-in is super important, especially from your star players. Defensively, yes, there is going to be a shift. You lost Drew Holiday, mm. who is one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders in this league. You can see switch abilities, championship, just a great guy. There's going to take time for an adjustment with Dame and Giannis. Um, but here's what I will say. With this coaching change, this makes me think that, that the Bucks aren't done. Like, there's going to be a lot of movement, I think, at trade deadline. Player perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps a DeJounte Murray. Perhaps oh, wow. someone like that that's going to be able to come in and play and kind of add to the coaching change as well. So I, I think this is very interesting. I think the thing that sticks out is that they didn't have championship aspirations. Right. That to me was, was very telling. Shaq, there have been other stories that have come out, like via The Athletic, where they said during the in-season tournament, Doc Rivers was actually brought in to be an advisor to Adrian Griffin. As you hear all this news, how do you process it? You know, we've we've all <clears throat> excuse me, we've all been around the business of basketball a long time. Something else is going on. Last time something like this happened, David Blatt, thirty and eleven, Tyler took over and won the championship. Chris used the, the the term save the season. And when you say save the season, I would think there would be eleven and thirty seven. Third best record in the league, second best record in the East, new players, new coaching staff. Mm. You know, I've <clears throat> I've always been a firm believer that Coach, okay, we as players got to do it. You know, we talk about defense and numbers. You have to want to play defense. And that's why I always talk about timely stops. I'm not, I'm not a defense. I'm not want to play defense because I'm big. I'll get in yeah. foul trouble. But two minutes left, we got to get timely stops. And, you know, th these guys are, are young. They're working together. But I think something else is going on. I don't want to speculate. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, you talk about a guy like Doc Rivers. Yes, he's an experienced coach, but he only has one championship. Uh, you know, you talk about Jeff Van Gundy, he has a lot of experience. But again, when it comes to the players, I don't care what schemes you have, you have to want to play defense. And Dame is not known as a defensive player. But again, that's why I always try to stick up for these guys and say, hey, if you can have timely stops, because they have enough talent to, you know, they got, they got major firepower offensively. But, you know, in these close games, if the last two minutes, you, you have to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm shutting this guy down. And until the players take onus and say that, it doesn't matter who they're going to bring in. They're still going to have these up and downs. But their ups and downs are really good ups and downs. Like, they're like second in the East. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. But I think being around this business for a long time, something else is going on. So we'll just stay tuned and we'll see what's going on. And for Adrian Griffin, I think – those of us that know him know he is a great guy, and he, he has now a career record of 30 and 13, so that will look good, and I'm sure he'll get another chance.